In terms of design, the driver housing looks exactly like the E10M, while the cable is the one used on the E10S. The internal wiring is different though. The E10C has a three-button remote that can automatically switch between Apple and Android smartphones pretty neatly. It is like they took the E10S and changed its cable to have a better remote and an angled input jack. Between the E10C and its predecessor, the E10S, there is no difference in sound signature. It is the same vibrant signature that we have come to love over the ages. The question therefore is not which E10 sounds better. The question is, how does the E10C compare to the other similarly priced IEM? With a fair amount of listening, we find that the locally designed Tech Fusion Twin Woofers M2 inches ever so slightly ahead of the Japanese competition. Is the E10C bad? Of course not. In fact, with the compatibility enhanced wiring and the new 3-button remote, it is an improvement over the older version. Objectively, the Tech Fusion Twin Woofers M2 is a slightly better buy in terms of pure audio performance. But the two are so close that you can almost substitute one for the other, depending on which one is more easily available. Your decision can sway in favor of the E10C on ancillary factors too, such as the availability of a computer adapter included in the bundle, if that is an important consideration for you. Or even the three button remote as opposed to the single button one found on the twin woofers. Thank you for tuning into Digit and for more videos, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get all the updates.